Hey, welcome here. No time to talk. Day two of the Black Hawk Axe. Let's get right into it. All right, these are the parts we cut yesterday. Let's get these going. This is the part that will go in the upsetter. This is going to go here. There'll be one up here and here. So these are actually done. Just got to weld the slitter and drift on that. One inch thick material by four by, I think it's three and a half. I need to find some of that. Otherwise, we're going to have to make some. This could work. Let's take this thing in. I just got notified from my wife. She just texted me. She said, hey, Tim, check your emails. You just sold another ax. I'm like emotional right now. I'm not even kidding you. This is like, it's a really big thing for me to be asking that much money for my work. I have a really hard time with it. To, like, straight up, I do. So for Steven and James, for you to come on board with not even a picture of the finished axe yet saying, Tim, we're going to put that much money down for an axe because we believe you're going to be able to pull this off. We want to support you. We want that piece in our lives. Oh, just seriously, thank you so much. I don't know how to be more transparent with that. It just means the world to me. Charters my batteries so flipping much. Let's go. Thank you. To everyone else who watches, I know there's so many of you who say, Tim, I want to buy an axe. I can't afford it. I 100% get it. I can't afford one of my own pieces of work. Just thank you for being here, watching, sticking it out. Thank you. All right, we're back to work. I just, it's real life. It's 9.07 a.m. and James placed the order 8.42 a.m. Thank you. I just checked my phone. It is 10.09. Dennis, 9.29. You placed your order for your pre-order on your Black Hawk Axe. Seriously, thank you so much. Can't wait to get that out to you. As soon as we build the tool aid, build the axe, we're getting that thing to you. Thank you. All right, let's get some holes in these bad boys. Quick intermission from the uh, tooling here. Martin's in the shipping container here and he's working on some other projects. Let me show you what's going on. Bronze hooks, like a hook for a wall. They sit like this. This is for uh, my friend Joey uh, Lock and Mortis is their company name. There's, it sits on like that. It's got a really cool mounting bracket that we designed. Fits in the slot so it's like a seamless hook or there's no hardware showing. Anyways, the problem is, is the bronze went through the tumbler and it's embedded with steel because we were using the tumbler for steel. This is what it looks like when they're finished. I don't want to touch it. But it's taking a long time to make that happen. So we got to figure out a little bit of a better way to do this. So Martin and I are going to just going to quickly talk about that. So it's going to take a little bit of time here. We're trying a bit of a concoction here, letting the parts soak in uh, 
let's just call it acid for everything just to keep it uh yeah anyways we're gonna let that soak and then hopefully that'll be okay all right let's jump back to it here Okay, so next up, the plan is this is gonna be the base. This is gonna go on here, it's gonna get bolted. And then this part here, it's gonna sit like that. It's really nothing to it. So we're gonna start laying out the holes, get ready to pound that. And then I would have preferred this to be a thicker material on the top side, but the upsetter doesn't allow me to have the room for the stroke to do that. So I'm hoping it's gonna be okay, but let's get this, let's get this in. Okay, so that's roughed in there. And then this is where the ax will go in and the slitter will come through the top. So tomorrow, tomorrow I gotta cut a hole in here for the slitter to go through and uh, do that on these other ones as well. And get these all together. So it's coming, it's coming. Thanks for watching, super appreciate it. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video till then. Keep the forge lit, eh? Over and out.